Oko and Siono. The child strapped at her back tells how important the child is to the mother. The 26-year-old convicted prisoner takes me through some of his impressive artwork. He first shows me a drawing of a woman with her child strapped to her back and carrying a bucket of water she had just drawn from a stream. This tells how much she loves her child. Alhassan Watara comes from Sampa, a town in the Brungahafa region on the border with Cote d'Ivoire. No one ever taught him how to draw, but his works have a professional touch. As we speak, I can paint you when you are gone. Unfortunately, Alhassan Watara is serving a two-year jail sentence. He didn't steal, cause physical harm to anyone, rape or kill. This is why he's here. Watara's father abandoned him while he was still a fetus. His father did not accept responsibility for his mother's pregnancy. He managed to go to school, but with no one to support him, he dropped out of school to search for his father, whom he had never known since birth. It was all joy when he found his father, but that joy soon turned into sorrow. He offered me a seat and told me I'm not his child. So I asked him to show me my father, but he could not. Some people from our town came to him and attested to the fact that I am his child. He maltreated me several times and said he could even kill me. Alhassan says he reported the incident to Shraj. Watara's father was unwilling to foot his school bills. He rather promised to set up an art shop for him. But that didn't happen. Only to see him return with the policeman to arrest me. The policemen threatened me to accept whatever my father accused me of, so I would not be jailed. But he said I should be jailed to leave him alone. case prison. He didn't know apologizing meant accepting that he indeed threatened his father. So he was given two years. In the Sunyani Central Prisons, officers there are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that he doesn't lose his art skills. They often contribute and buy him paint and other equipment to do his drawings. The least chance he gets, he draws and paints to tell his bitter life experiences. He speaks again about one of his works. This is my life story. This is my stepmother and my cousin hanging things. This is how I wanted my father to relate to me. Because of his ill words, I mostly sat at the back of the house. Because of his ill words, I mostly sat at the back of the house. Because of his ill words, I mostly Al-Hassan has a year to finish his jail term. He's already thinking of how a tag on him as an ex-convict will follow him up for the rest of his life and how this is going to make it difficult to be employed by anyone. Al-Hassan wishes he could get help to set up his own shop and get tools to continue his art and painting work. He says at least this could help him take care of his sick mother. From the Sunyani Central Prisons, this is Seth Kwame Boatin reporting.